You can see this sandbar just behind me has grown so much that it's no longer passable and the water on this end is stagnant and not moving at all. The Edisto River has a reputation uh, th throughout our nation for uh, some of these environmental people that, that have, have read of it. The Edisto River is the longest Blackwater River in the nation. Albert Jacobs says many of those folks have floated past his family property right on the river. We've had people uh, drift by uh, fairly regularly, and I'm almost willing to say from all over the United States. But nobody can float by now. No one can float by. There's, last weekend, we had a, a man and his wife uh, uh, come by in, in a boat commenting that he had had to drag his boat, oh gosh, 100 yards or so, 400 yards, where, where, the, where there was no water, drag it across the sandbar. Jacob says he believes some trees fell in the river and sand collected under them over time, causing the sandbar to increase in size. But the river has become like this in the last two weeks, three weeks, it fa fairly recently. Uh, and as you can see, we've got stagnant water out here. Uh, that's not good. Now I'm reaching out to the Army Corps of Engineers, the Department of Natural Resources, and even Dorchester County Council to try and figure out what might be able to be done to resolve this issue. On the Edisto River in Ridgeville, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.